soda soup delicious on a cold winter day. Okay, cream of tomato soup. The first thing you're going to have to do is mince your onion. Make sure they're little enough when you mince them. Okay, you also, and that's going to go in this pot. It says, simmer together in a small pan for five minutes. Be careful not to burn the sides of the pan. You know why it says that? Because I've had a lot of kids burn the sides of the pan. Okay, so that's just a heads up. Just a heads up. Be careful because you're putting a little sugar in here and it will burn. You need two pans. You need a little pan like this for the tomato juice, and you need a little bigger pan that you're going to actually make the soup with. Okay? Do you need to weigh the margin with? Okay. And then we needed some flour, and it is also weighed. And then we needed a cup of warm milk. Okay? So we have everything we need. We're all ready. We're all ready. We can finally go to the stove. Okay? So you can put your, your butter in the big pan and put it on a pilot light. While you are dealing with, put the butter on the pilot light. Don't turn it on, just put it on the pilot light and then deal with the tomato juice. Okay, just let it sit on the pilot light while you're dealing with the tomato juice. Okay, you gotta put the tomato juice in here and you could have put it in up there on the counter. That will be fine. Make sure you like scrape so you get it all in there. It's always a good idea. And then you're gonna have your onion which is gonna be minced Really little because you don't want a mouthful of onion. <coughs> and we'll cut the onions like so they're in eighths or something, and then you'll have to, you might have some to put back. A teaspoon of sugar. Why do you think we put the sugar in there? Anybody want to guess? Tomatoes are what? Acidic, okay? And so you don't want the soup to be so acidic. You put a little of that in. And then you're going to put in the bay leaf, okay? Okay, and it says we're going to simmer, so simmer would mean, and do you think that flame's too high? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, turn down the flame. Something has to happen now. What has to happen? It has to come to a boil, so it has to be bubbled. I want to stir it to make sure, you know, it's okay. But if you stand here and stir, do you think it's going to boil? No. No, it's not going to boil. And then you're going to get frustrated. And then who's ever helping your group is going to get frustrated. They're going to say, it's not boiling, it's not boiling, it's not boiling. So it can just sit there for a minute. And you can go back and look at your recipe and say, simmer in a small pan for five minutes. So it's got to come to a boil before I can start my timer. Are we going to leave it just like that? Stir. we got to stir it. we got to stir this all up, okay? Oh, good. You're boiling over here. Okay. Oh, I don't know where that timer is, so we'll just look at the clock. Stir there we go. Okay. So how long did that take to boil? Not very long. A couple minutes, right? Okay. Hopefully your margarine's getting all melted while your tomato juice is boiling. Okay, so that's what that looks like, right? That's what that looks like. And I'm going to go back here so it's closer to me. Do I want a flame that big to cook my roux? Probably not. I probably want a pretty low flame because there's not very much in my pan. And how long does this have to cook, this roux? Four days? Two minutes. The tomato soup, okay? And interestingly, do you notice that we, I'm using two high heat spatulas, and most of you only have one. So you're probably going to need to borrow another one or wash yours between. Okay, there we go. We're bubbling. Get those bubbles. Get those bubbles. Okay. Those bubbles. And make sure you scrape the sides so it doesn't burn. Okay. This is going to turn out perfect. So you have three recipes you have to mise en place. You have to turn them all in so that they can get those ready for you before you come in at 11.20 because you're going to need your whole lab to get done. Right? Cookie wise or soup and icing wise. Alrighty, let's get done over here. How long was this roux supposed to cook? Two minutes? Okay. Pretty sure we'll cook two minutes. Last time most of you did really, your soups were really good. Okay, so I'm thinking this time you're going to be really good again, right? That is like a first. That's a first. So you did a really good job. You did a really good job with those puddings. I, we had a lot of A's and B's, a lot of A's and B's. Okay.
This has now cooked for five minutes, so we're going to turn that off, and that's cooked enough. Okay, there's my roux. I got roux, I got tomato juice. I got to go backwards because I got to get the bay leaf out of here. You don't want me coming to get a taste of your soup and eating the bay leaf, okay? So take the bay leaf out, all right? You have your spoon for that, right? Okay, what's it say? They want us to add the tomato juice and cook until it thickens, and then we're going to add the warm milk, okay? Oops, wrong way. You want this one. This one. Okay, now we only need one spatula again. Now, is this going to be a little lumpy? Yes. Why? Because it's got some onions in it. Okay? It's got some onions in it. But it shouldn't be like big old fat lumps that aren't onions. Okay? If your tomato juice is warm enough, this part is going to thicken up on you before you even turn on the burner. Okay? Because when you get the tomato juice in there, you want to make sure that there's no lumps. And the best way to do that is to use a wire whip for a couple spins. Okay? Use the wire whip. Make sure you don't have any lumps in there. And this is how thick this is. This is thick. We don't have any, we don't have the milk in yet, but it's thick. You see how it's thick? It's pretty dang thick. This is how it should look after you have the roux and the tomato soup, okay? So if you get to this point and it's running off the spoon, you know there's been a glitch, okay? You know there's been a glitch. Stop and see if somebody can help you figure, okay? Next, we're gonna add the milk, okay? And the milk should be warm. And I'm gonna use the whip again because it's easier to mix in the milk with the whip. Did I turn the flame on yet? No, don't turn the flame on until you've got it all mixed in, okay? Use your spatula and scrape down the sides. Because if you start to cook it before you have it all mixed, you're gonna end up with a lumpy mess. Lumpy mess. <coughs> get thicker, right? Yeah, because why does it get thicker as it sits? The moisture's flashing off, right? Okay, so a good idea, it would be to put a lid on your soups, and then you can heat them up a little bit before you go to break. So add to that list, the big pan needs a lid that fits. The pan you make the soup in needs a lid that fits. So you need two saucepans, a quart and a two quart and a lid, okay? Okay, while we're waiting for this to get cooked, what are the six sizes of eggs? What's the smallest? And that's small, medium, large, extra large, jumbo. How do you cook a coddled egg? 30 seconds in simmering water. How do you make a souffle? Beaten egg whites with base and egg yolks and where are we cooking it? On the stove? Oven. Oven. Baking it in the oven. Okay, how about a quiche? Crust and eggs and stuff. Leftover stuff in the middle, okay? Put whatever stuff you want on there, all right? How do you make a basted egg? 
basted egg. Some fat, and it could be bacon grease, or it could be butter, or it could be lard. I don't think lard it could be. Okay, and it's going to, so it's in there, and you're putting the grease over the top. That's what's basting, okay? Hard-boiled eggs, Chef Wolf's way. What's the first thing you need, Josh? Um, uh, an egg. <laughs> oh, that was good. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Josh, what do we need next? Cold water. Cold water and a pan. And we're going to cover them with the cold water. And then what are we going to do with the pan, Josh? Put it outside? Bring it to the boil. Put it on the stove, bring it to a boil. What do I need for the pan, Jennifer? I got a pan. What, what do I need to have for that pan that has the egg in it? Stove. Jordan, lifeline. Lid. You need the lid. Because as soon as, as, soon as it comes to a boil, what are you going to do? Cover with a lid and turn off the burner and set your timer. Okay, good. You got that much. Everybody got that? All right. It's just about done. All I need, all I need to do is have a blump. A blump. Oh, there, I got one. Did you get the blump? Show the blump. See the blump? The bump? Here comes one. There we go. Okay. When it starts to boil, it will probably be done. Okay? So you can see it's thicker now. You see it's thicker now? It's not as thick as when it was all whatever, and it's not as runny as when we first put the milk in. Okay? Everyone who would like to taste it, which should be all of you, uh, put it over here and you can get a spoonful. Okay? Spoonful. Where are we going to put the 